Well, welcome to our webinar today on idling. And uh, what we're going to cover today is uh, information about reports and alerts and just the ways that you can track and monitor idling within your portal. So I'll uh, just go over a few things, show you some uh, ways to, to know when your people are idling and how to determine how long you want a notification for, all of those kind of things. So I've signed into our portal here. And you know when you come into your portal and sign on, you always get your summary, your snapshot of what's happened so far today. And underneath your scenario alerts, sometimes you will see these little hazard signs. So if you put your mouse over, it's going to tell you there are scenario alerts. If someone has been idling longer than the parameters that are set up in your scenarios, which we'll get to in a minute here as well, then they would show up this little hazard sign. So by clicking on this hazard sign, luck would have it today that we do have one of our demo units that had some idling. Now, as you can see, there's other alerts as well that that little hazard sign could be for. So just because it's there doesn't mean they were idling. It could have been like here at Armour Park, the zone violation, the speed violation, a power cut. So it could be any of those kind of things. But we can see that also, there is an idle alert right here. And that tells me the nearest address to where he was idling and the date and time. And so that gives you just a quick snapshot of anything that the, you know, your vehicles have done outside the parameters of the scenarios you set up and which idling shows under there. So under your administration tab, is where your scenario is set up for idling. So the name here is whatever you have called it, or what me, we may, may have called it when we set it up. This name that you give it here is the name that shows up when we clicked on the hazard sign and it said which scenario and it said idle over eight minutes. That's where that came from. So you can, by clicking on it, change the information. So I could say I want this to be idling over three minutes or seven minutes or I can go down to you know as low as one minute. And so you can set what's appropriate for your company. You know, is it 30 minutes? Do you have vehicles that need to idle for at least 30 minutes? What's acceptable? Whatever you set in here defines the alerts that are going to be set. So if I say eight minutes, which is what ours is set up for, then as soon as one of our vehicles idles more than eight minutes, that's when the scenario alert comes up over here. Also, when someone goes outside this parameter, I have the ability to be notified real time as well. So inside the scenario, down here there's a notification. So I can click on the notification and I can determine who would be maybe emailed when that happens so that I can take of it take care of it real time because I want to phone my driver or I could be texted if I wanted to use the phone number. So you can have a real time notification. You automatically do get the alerts on the home page on your summary, but you can also get you know, information right to your email or, or to your phone to be able to, you know, look after something right away. You know, the, we do say that behavior that gets corrected at the time it happens is, is usually more corrected than when you leave it and talk to them about it a week later. So just to give you an idea of that. So this is like I said, in the scenarios, going in and editing the scenario, um, we do set up an idling scenario for everyone when, you know, we create your portal. Uh, someone could have deleted it. You may not have one, but, uh, you know, I'd be able to help with any of that if you've got questions about it. So as far as the idling, we do have the scenario, and that covers the alerts, the real-time alerts, and the alert on your home page. 
to let you know. And again, you can define how long is acceptable in your company for idling. We generally say, you know, anything under three minutes could just be a stop sign. However, or a, or a traffic light, however, that may not be the case either. So regardless of what I set up in here in my scenarios of what I've determined is maybe acceptable or is not going to be disciplined or anything along those lines, I do have in my reports an idle time report. So I've also got an idle time with map. So this would, with the maps, just going to plot, plot where the, the driver was idling right on a map. And with the idle time, it's just going to give me the details. It's not going to show me on the map. So regardless of what I set up in my scenario, as you saw, we had eight minutes. I can now actually go pull a report and pull it for idle stops longer than that. I can go right down to 10 seconds. So I have the ability to still pull any of that information regardless of what I set up in the scenario, which is great. So if I want to say select all my vehicles, show idle stops longer than let's say three minutes and let's say for yesterday. And create a report. And then it's going to give me, again, the, the same consistent uh, color coding as throughout the system. So I can see here right away from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. So this is saying that this was idling for 24 hours. So I know right away that's a problem. With us, it's a demo unit, so it's, it's actually not even in a vehicle. It's in a box. And so that's, you know, was set up to <laughs> record some. However, I can also see, it, I called for times less than three minutes. I could see three minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes. Uh oh, one was here idling for 43 minutes. Uh, you know, nine, six, four, three, three. So I can see, like, for the most part, they're very minimal idling. idling. And then I've got a summary up here that I have a, you know, total of 10 for a total of one day, which is my, you know, faulty information there, one hour and 28 minutes. So when you think of idling, you know, like some of the reasons that people want to obviously reduce it is, is the environmental issue and that, you know, they want to keep things green. And we have a, a law here about how long vehicles can idle and, and such. Also, you know, the fuel consumption. On an average, uh, you know, we say that about an hour's worth of idling uses about five liters of fuel. Now, it's not going to be the exact same for every type of vehicle and the type, whether it uses gas or, or diesel or all that kind of stuff. But if you look at it as an average, it will give you a bit of an idea. So, I mean, I can look here and say, oh, for yesterday, if I discount this, you know, this one day part up here, I've got an hour and a half, basically, of idling. So right there in one day, I've got, you know, seven, seven and a half liters of fuel. So if I, you know, do that on a calculator, and if it was the same for a 30-day month, I'm talking about 210 liters of fuel. And if you sort of look at the math times, what is it, about almost a dollar, about a dollar 40 now, you know, we're talking $300. And that's all, okay, yes, we have this one longer time, but that's not very much idling as, as we think of it. So um, you can see how it'll quickly, quickly add up. And if you pull that information for a month, um, you know, and just, look at it all together, it's, it, it can be quite um, frightening. I know I've sat with customers and asked them well, how they thought their idling was and, and they haven't thought there's been very much idling, but when we pull a report, they're shocked to see, you know, um, somebody sitting there and idling their vehicle for three hours. And, you know, time can get away when you don't realize how long it's going to take you to run in and out of a, a somewhere. So 
just give you an idea there. So that's your report, your idling report. And like I said, you can also pull up the idle report with maps so that it would show right on the map where these locations are. You can see in bold here that we have landmarks entered to quickly identify where these people were when they were idling as well. So the other thing you can do with the idling reports is you can have them as scheduled reports so that they automatically email you either daily or weekly. So if I click on my scheduled reports, we have several kinds of scheduled reports set up in here. And uh, it's just taking a moment to flip. But I've also got um, I've got some set up, a daily idling report and a weekly idling report. So you can just kind of have an idea of how it would come into your, your mailbox. So um, you can set up a new scheduled report for idling and you know, define when you want it sent and how long of idling you want to show. Again, you have the ability to report on right from 10 seconds up, regardless of what you've set in your scenario, which is fantastic. So what I did here was just um, set up some so that I could just show you this. This is what I would get as an attachment in my email. And this is how it's going to come. So it's going to give me my idling report. It's going to give me my legend of how, how it looks. And this is my um, a daily one. It tells me the time frame that this has been pulled. And then it just breaks it down vehicle by vehicle. So I can just, you know, scroll through and have a look at each vehicle and quickly see what's been going on. And you can print that, you can save it. Um, you know, this is the same information I just pulled on that other report, except that I didn't have to spend the time putting the parameters in. I set it up to automatically email me. It emails me in the middle of the night, and then I can look at it in the morning. I've also got an example of a weekly one here, and you know you can just see quickly again, you know, like when you look at a week, how much it adds up, you know, just all in green, but really adds up. And you can just scroll through and look at all your vehicles, and that would just come again. That would come Sunday night in the middle of the night and go straight into your inbox. So that, you know, gives you an idea about idling. Um, you know, we all know for the most part why we don't want vehicles to idle. And uh, so just some ways to keep track of it and monitor it and be able to pull that information from the system. So again, we have alerts that uh, are on our home page that come up with the little warning sign. We have, you know, the scenarios that create those alerts and have the ability to email or text you right away as soon as it happens. We have the reports that we can pull that show us idling, and I can pull up to two months on one report. And I also have the ability to schedule uh, reports for daily or weekly to be just emailed straight to me so that it makes it more convenient. So, and that is going to conclude the webinar today that we've got for idling. And uh, 